Isn't it asking a little too much to compare the Mercedes-Benz to the much cheaper Dacia Logan MCV, the much less expensive car manufactured by Renault in Romania? But why not? The design of the E-Class is more mature and elegant, but the Logan is more easily arranged. On the other hand, the German car is more comfortable. The T-Model is 40 centimeters longer and 20 centimeters wider than its opposite number but the Dacia is 30 centimeters taller. The Dacia Logan MCV is powered by a 1.6 liter gasoline engine. 105 horsepower accelerate the car from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 12.1 seconds. The manufacturer lists the top speed as 174 kilometers an hour. The Dacia Logan's engine is remarkably loud at high speed. As expected, the Mercedes is quieter. The chassis and engine are well tuned to each other, and that makes for relaxed driving. At 272 horsepower, it's twice as strong as the Dacia, and that means better acceleration. The German car reaches 100 kilometers an hour a good five seconds before the Logan. And the Mercedes leaves the Dacia behind it when it comes to the top speed. The T-Model reaches 243 kilometers an hour. Car tester Matas Kurat says the performance of these two cars is so different that they cannot be compared this way. The important thing about these two cars is at the back. They are both station wagons and both have a lot of luggage space. The Mercedes E-Class provides as much as 1,950 liters. The back seats can be folded down easily using a lever. That means the trunk is deep as well as wide. Unfortunately, it's a little too classy to fill it with gardening tools. First, you need to cover it with some kind of sheet. The rim of the trunk is quite low, which makes it easier to load it with heavy and cumbersome objects. Kurat says even the long strimmer fits without any problems. Time to have a look at the Dacia. Einfach so in den Kofferraum der E-Klasse. Gehen wir mal zum Dacia. The standard version offers 700 liters of space before the seats are folded. This version has seven seats and only 198 liters of space. But when all the seats are folded back, the trunk has 2,350 liters. But how easy is it to load? Kurat says the seats are pretty easy to fold. So, plus points for the ease of use. Kurat says now that everything has been folded down, one thing strikes him. The floor is not completely even. That can be a problem sometimes. In this case, it means more storage space. But most of the storage space in the Dacia is provided by the car's height. That means the load is piled up. If the driver has to make an emergency stop, then it can slip forwards, which is not good. But do the gardening tools fit in the Dacia? The trunk of the Dacia also has a low rim, which makes it easier to load heavy and bulky objects. The two back doors and the headroom at the back make it easier to load. Yeah. Kurat says it all fits. The trunk is not as long as in the E-Class. He can put the strimmer in sideways. It's not ideal, but oh well. Das ist natürlich auch nicht ganz so toll. Na ja. So, two unequal rivals which have one thing in common. They are both spacey station wagons. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. So what does Karat think about the comparison? 
Was soll ich sagen? Es ist halt das typische Mattes Kura says it's tough. Both are cars and they can be driven. Just like with clothes. You could wear anything. Some clothes are more elegant and you are never overdressed with them. On the other hand, you have the overalls you can wear on a construction site. Kurat says what disappoints him about the Dacia was the shortness of the trunk. The strimmer only fitted sideways, not straight like the Mercedes. And that's why the Mercedes was his favorite, even if it's not suitable for a construction site.